Hello, and welcome back. So last time we did a schematic of a steel smelting array. Um, you can't really see much here because it's all flashing in any way, it's all a bit messy. But what we have here is a steel smelter, iron smelter, steel smelter, iron smelter, interleaved, 11 wrong, long. That is five plates, six, sorry, five iron plates, six steel plates, that's perfectly ratioed. It turns out that if we have one build this size above, and then an identical size build up below, this should, near enough, produce the right amount of steel for this build in the middle. That would mean that this stop here, which is the steel build, can go. Okay, so let's delete it. Great. So now that, that has gone, we can also remove its boxes. Yep, that means we can now move this whole bit of the build downwards. There we are. So let's move it. Okay, um, right. And we want this to be um, lined up again. There we are. So that is definitely an improvement, having this brought inwards. Okay, so the next job is to turn this into something that doesn't flash horribly. And we'll start off by moving this part of the build down. So we need 10 rows in total, which means five rows above, five rows below. So let's see if we can center this up. I think that's roughly it. Um, I want to reuse the beacons, really. There we are. That will do. Okay, and then we would be looking at the same thing below, but I will do that in a minute. Okay, then we probably do not need many beacons, sorry, many um, rubber ports to make this work. Uh, you need four for a steel build, sorry, for an iron build this big. So this is probably fine because the steel build has roughly half the traffic of the iron build. Um, maybe it's two thirds. Anyway, it, it's not the full amount. Okay, so this is the iron ore train. And it doesn't consume very much iron ore, to be honest. So it's probably one or two carriages. Um, okay, something like that. Let's put in a station. Um, here we are. Yep. So then for now, we're going to have a duplicating provider. There we are. Now I'm in two minds as to whether to just do it with four of these or to put another four on the other side. I think I might chance it with just these four. There we go. Let's take that and kill it. We're going to run this with just the four rubber ports and see if it will run. Okay, that's perfectly lined up. Um, right, it doesn't appear to be powered up, so let's... Okay, that powers across there. We're basically not bridging there. Right, let's do the same on the other side just for symmetry's sake. We may have to revisit this wiring. Um, and then I'm going to put in a couple of um, voiding requests just to get the whole thing working. Okay. So this is going to request steel. There we 
way up. So if we throw some Logibots in here, let's see. Ah, okay, so this definitely doesn't work. Um, the reason being that these don't reach all the way back. Um, we need, yeah, we need these up there to be able to reach all the way back. Okay, so that's an interesting experiment. Um, this is the two rows, let's grab this. Go away. Okay. Let's take all this out. There we are. Right, I think we can probably power the whole of this central region up with a substation. And then um, put that down. Great. Okay, we've only got 200 logic bots in here. That's 400. I'm expecting five is enough. But let's let this go out fill up all the boxes, come back. Okay. Great, they're starting to, um, they're starting to roost now. So it takes about 300 Logibots to run this. We need to run it in a little bit longer, but what's our production here? Okay, so we are producing 1.6k of steel, 3.1, is what is being consumed in the mirror of this build. So let's take a blueprint of the whole of this Yeah. Let's put this down this side. Okay, that's clearly too far. Let's put it there. Great, so we can um, start this up with some ore, and then it needs about 400 bots. We have 400 there, let's check up here. Yeah, this is all running quite smoothly with about 300. So there's 100, there's 200 roosting, 400 in total. Takes about 200 bots to keep this going once it's buffered up. Okay. Now, what did this need in bots? About 500. Okay. Okay, we've got 700 in there, that should be sufficient. Okay, we are going to adjust this slightly. So at the moment, this is going into voiding boxes. Okay. Now, I want to count the production of this in terms of stack inserters. Got a feeling it's going to be less than one. Yeah, one stack inserter. But for the sake of balance, we're going to have two bridges. Okay, so we're going to have a passive provider and a requester. Hang on. Okay, what's going on here? I wanted these two builds to be a single square apart. They're actually several squares apart. Okay, how many long inserters are needed?
eight. That is too many. Okay, so we'll have to find another way to do this. Okay, so if we had a provider and a requester, and then in the middle, if we had a steel chest, the reason I use steel chests in these is not for the capacity, I'm gonna cap it to a single stack. It's because we make steel chests. Um, let's put in two. Yeah, we make steel chests. Um, all right, let's request steel. 2000 steel, yeah. We make steel chests to make the logistics chests. So they're already in a production pipeline. Um, right, let's take that. There we are. There we are. Right, and I want to cap this to two stacks here because I don't want these boxes filling up when, during downtime. Great. Okay. So I'm fairly happy with that. Um, let's head down here. Yeah, let's take out that and that. Get back our boxes blueprint. And our boxes blueprint. Okay, so we now have the steel going across. So I can fill in the missing items here. Let's just check. Right, so that's going across. That's filling up. Okay, I want this to be capped to two stacks. Yeah, I want this to be capped to two stacks. Let's go through and make sure these are capped. They're probably not. Yeah, that one is. That one is. Okay, so then here we have definitely have bots, and this has the steel it wants. Okay, um, right. So the next job is to fake in all the other things. Right, so coal here. Stone here. Copper here. Oh, is it copper? Copper here. Iron here. Great. Now I can decommission this by just taking the power off. And is this all going? Okay, so it's the initial flurry where all the bots are going insane. Um, yeah, this is off now, so I've not got any spurious production numbers. Everything's gone a bit wobbly. We have a slight overproduction of iron plates, it looks like. Okay, so we've got some bots roosting now. Yeah, we're up to 100 nod. Great, we're over the bump. So, we're looking at this needing to get up to 315.
and I think it's heading there. kind of leveling off isn't it let's get rid of that so everything here is leveled off except for this yellow line which i think is stone and the stone consumption was because the stone bricks the smelters are backed up we've broken our 300 mark which is 300 is what we have to produce and we are up to 10 3 10 11 12 Okay, now are we in equilibrium? So steel is the other thing we care about. Let's look at steel production and steel consumption. Where's steel here? Okay, so we are producing 3.2 and consuming 3.1. So we have a slight overproduction of steel. Okay, what I want to do is run max rate over this entire contraption. But there may be, there we are. Tick tock, tick tock. Okay. A smelter did not have a recipe. Never mind. Steel. We are almost two steel smelters up. To which I have to say, do I care? And the answer is no, I don't care. This is a big enough build that two steel smelters is not the end of the world. Here you can see, actually, coincidentally, two steel smelters. Um, right, that's backed up, that's backed up, that's backed up. So we are just working through the buffers at the moment. Um, yeah, so we could probably trim individual machines off this eventually. Um, but I don't think it's really worth it, to be honest. Um, right, let's just... Uh, we can auto-trash steel. Good, and... I like this requesting lots. Um, these are capped at two stacks each. Um, We seem to have some recharging issues here. I think it's because the steel has been carried so far. Okay, can I move this? Um, yep, I can. Okay, so that seems to be enough charging they're no longer haloing. Okay. Let's have a look down here. Do we have haloing? Yeah, it's not great. Actually, I think we can get away with five each side. So we're using six each side. I think we can do five. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's see if we can make this neater. Okay, what's going on here? Ah, that wasn't charged up. Okay, let's see. So, um, Possibly that's better. Okay, 
we'll figure this out in a moment. Better. Hmm, looks like I can only move that one way with the arrows. Okay. Right, so that's happy again now. Uh, we needed 10 rubber ports. So let's take a blueprint of this. I'm going to take a blueprint of the whole center so that it's easy to line up. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had a bit of a cough recently. Um, so could that go there? I think it could. Let's rip out the whole middle. Um, I'm in two minds about whether to make it rotationally symmetric or actually mirrored. Right. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Let's um, put it back that way. Okay. That way. So what happened to all those bots? All right. We'll have to feed this again. Um, And it needs 200 and odd. 250 should be fine. What happens is they all fly out and they all need recharging at the same time. So it's only once they've started to stagger their charging um, by either roosting or by queuing up that everything works out. Anyway, we'll give this a moment to settle itself again. Uh, and there's no iron ore. Okay. That's better. I think this will bounce out soon. Let's go around the other side. Okay. There's something wrong here. Um, all right. Okay, so this is full. We're moving this over as fast as we can. It's only going through this one side, it's not even using the second requester. run one more max rate over this to check everything's balanced. I'm a bit spooked by this back row not running, but I think it's buffers. Okay. Yeah, this says I've got the right number of steel smelters, so it's a buffering issue. Um, let's look at each of these. Right, so they're just capped to a single stack. This is running at full speed, and the issue is... Okay, so this is coming in as quickly as possible. That's never filling up. That's just being pushed through to there. This is coming in full speed, never buffering up, taken straight to there. Okay, this is never being requested. All the requests are going to here. Yeah, this one's full. Okay. 
So this is better. <coughs> I think this request of 2K is too high. I think it's another case of um, too much buffering. Uh, so let's put this down to 500. is above 300 for the furnaces so this is a one-sixth build so two of these would drive one of these which also needs one of these this can go away because this was our test build from earlier cool so that can go all right this can be powered up again um, I will supply it up off camera. Um, we are yeah, so we're consuming 1.2. We're producing three, so we need four of these builds. <coughs> Excuse me for one of these. Um, we need, I think, two of these builds for one of these, but I will double check the speed for the electrics here. So this produces items per minute. Right, 1.2k, which I think is one of these builds. Yeah. So this feeds into there. We produce four of these to feed in to there, and then we need the refineries to keep everything going. And as I remember it, the refinery ratios are fairly straightforward. Um, but we will do the refineries next time. You know how much I love fluids, so next time there will be probably some bad language and swearing and uh, comments about people's parentage. Um, but please forgive me, we will try and muddle through. All right, well, thanks very much. We are slowly getting there. It's just the refinery to go for production science, and then production science is done. Um, until next time, thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.